Hi everybody, Sheila Keeter here, your teacher for inclusion. We're just gonna jump right in today because we're gonna talk about a um, topic that's a little bit controversial and that is pricing. The first thing I wanna say is that I notice that a lot of teachers pay teachers underprice um, their resources. And I'm not talking about ripping teachers off or overcharging so that you can make more money. I'm talking about using reasonable and attainable prices for the value that you provide in these resources. You deserve to get paid for the value that you create. If you're not getting a return on your investment, then you're going to burn out. The return is gonna motivate and inspire you. So the next point I wanna make is that there's no math formula to this process. So the whole 10 cents per page doesn't work. We all know that not every page is worth the same value in a resource. The next point is that you need to stop deciding that teachers can't afford to buy resources on Teachers Pay Teachers. Teachers go to Starbucks, they go to Target, they make purchases. Um, stop deciding the teachers can't afford a valuable resource. Your job is to make sure that you are providing that value so that your price does match the value. So what are some things that make a resource more valuable? Well, that could be numerous things. And the first thing is what problem is this resource solved? What am I solving? What problem am I solving for this teacher? Um, it's, is there a key? Is it editable? Is it research-based? Does it have different formats? Is it pretty? What would this resource be worth to me? That's a great strategy. It's asking yourself that question. And then answer it honestly. Um, how much is a, a week's worth of math lessons worth to me? One point I want to make, and I do this hesitantly, is to look at other people's prices. Now, be careful with this because you don't know their, price, their resource intimately. You only know yours intimately. Um, so look at other prices, but do so with, with a ballpark um, idea. Like you want to make sure you're in the ballpark. Okay, one TPT gives us one piece of crucial information that we need to pay attention to. And that is that they won't charge a more than $15 for a TPT school access bundle. Now I'm not talking to the teacher who puts together three math worksheets and bundles it. And I'm not talking to the teacher who does a year's worth of math lessons. Those are very different prices and you'll price those accordingly. I'm talking to the middle of the road bundle. So I do novel studies and what I'll do with my novel study is combine it with like a nonfiction lesson. And then I try to hit that $15 price point. And the leniency that you have in being able to price it is that you can do it at 10% off 20 or 30% or you can put in your own price. Okay, um, the next point I wanna make is don't lowball your competition. And I'm not talking about the teacher who wants to make sure that everyone has access or everyone can afford their product. I'm talking about the seller who looks at everyone and says, okay, I'm gonna underprice mine so that I can sell more than everyone else. Um, it doesn't make you a martyr. In fact, it kind of makes you a schmuck. And the reason you don't wanna underprice is because for one, you're not valuing your resource and you're not valuing your competition's resource. The other thing is that someone may look at it and think, okay, this resource might must not be valuable, so I'm not going to make this purchase. Um, da data is a really important thing, tool you can use for pricing. If you have high conversion rates on a product, and make sure there's at least 15 have been sold. If there's really high conversion rates, it might be time to raise your price. So what can you do 
Um, at this point, if your prices are too low, start to raise them slowly. No one is gonna notice. And if someone has made your a purchase prior to now, they're just gonna see that they, they got a better price. All right, guys, I hope you learned something about pricing today and I will see you next time. Thanks so much.